Hey friends, it's Natana. Sorry, I have been MIA. I have been sick and I'm still recovering. You can kind of hear my voice a little. Um, I went and got tested for COVID, of course, and also for strep. And I was 99.999% sure it was strep, but it's not. So I'm still waiting back for my second COVID test because I took a at-home test. That one came back negative, but the doctors say that those are crap. That's their opinion. But um, anyways, um, I started not feeling good last week, and I had realized after Wednesday happened that I didn't upload my Wednesday video for my Shocker series. And then I progressively, like, I had mind, like, like brain fog. And then uh, Thursday and Friday rolled in and Thursday I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll just upload next week. No big deal. Whatevs, right? You know me. Anyways, Friday I got hit Friday night. I went to bed early. Like I was fine. And, um, or Thursday night I was fine, but I went to bed early and then I woke up around midnight, not feeling good with a headache. And I tried going back to sleep. I was very unrested. It was like, you know, when you're like in between sleep and awake, it's like that meditative state, but not meditation. That's exactly what happened to me until like three in the morning. So I finally got up, got in the bathtub, tried to fight this headache off and um just could not go back to sleep finally around six in the morning i get up and i take my temperature and sure enough i i have a fever and i'm like okay that's great so i call out sick to work because i have a fever and a, and a headache um and then saturday uh i'm like just fighting off this this fever um on and off all day long and sweating and my headache finally goes away but then I start getting this throat thing and it feels like I have freaking razor blades in my throat um yeah so anyways it's Tuesday now <laughs> and I'm feeling a lot better but I'm still not fully healthy and I've kind of just been like writing it out, right? Like normally I'm like, oh, I like to keep up and take my vitamins and I like to take like juices and smoothies and things like that. Um, but like really just moving to California has really just like fucked me up, like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, my life has just kind of went down the drain. And that's no one else's fault but my own because you have to advocate for yourself and fight for yourself, especially when you know you're not doing good. And um, it's just, it's not been the easiest, right? Like, I came here because my mom's not doing well with her health. She She's sick. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't even really want to get into that. But... Uh, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I just needed to be responsible and I needed to make some type of a video to let you know I'm still here and I'm not, I've not forgot what my desires and promises are and what they are. Yeah, correct. <sighs> and I just, just wanted to do like a, a check-in. So with that being said, I, um... I can't wait until I'm feeling 100% again, but to help me feel 100%, I definitely need to, like, show up for myself and make sure I'm taking my vitamins and eating my super healthy non-processed foods because I'm a highly sensitive person. And even if I'm eating healthy, but I'm not, like, but I'm, I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's like, the older I get, the more I have to be doing all of the things. It's like if I lack on something, it's almost like it doesn't count. And that's frustrating. 
it's super frustrating because I worked over this last decade essentially to like better my health and I have. I've bettered my mindset, I've bettered my spirituality, I've bettered my physical health. And here I am like revisiting all of these things and man, oh man, when they talk about like uh, spiritually like evolving and what do these people call this like ascending or something I'm not saying I'm ascending but when you're leveling up in life in any way shape form or fashion there's always going to be new bosses <laughs> as the peace dealer would like to say if you've never watched the peace dealers channel check out Mike he's awesome um, but you're gonna battle and it's just kind of like a never-ending thing and um, that's okay <clears throat> but, you know, just know, like, <sighs> it's fine, <laughs> it's normal, but it's, it's just frustrating, and just prepare yourself for when you're on a spiritual journey, like, if you are somebody like me who is a person that's into self-help, self-development, spiritual growth, you know, just like oneness and things like that. And you put in the work. Every day isn't going to be awesome. Some seasons are going to be harder. And that's fine. But man, oh man. Um, it's been one hell of a fucking ride since I've been here. And there's been days that I've like broke down questioning. I feel so emotional saying it, but like, what am I doing here? You know, like, I haven't had thoughts of, like, suicide <laughs> in a long time. And being here just makes me question my reality. <sighs> that is not good. That is not good. Because I, I know life is not that bad. And, like, what the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's crazy. I don't know why I put myself in situations sometimes that are super hard. And the only thing I can think is like, <laughs> on my psychotic spiritual path is like, Oh, you're healing ancestral wounds. Look at you. you. This is what you came here to do. But if you ask like a therapist, they'd probably be like, bitch, you're fucking crazy. Like, those are just things that you're telling yourself to make yourself feel better for the psychoticness that you're choosing. I don't know. Life is super complicated and there's more than like one truth at the same time. And it's hard to know what to believe and what not to believe and what's true and what's not true. And... <sighs> To just force yourself to show up for yourself, to do the right things that need to be done for you individually. Like, even just, like, working. I I haven't worked, like, a quote-unquote regular job since, like, my birthday. So, since February of 2020. Is that right? 2020 or 2021? 2021. Yeah, I drug it out that long. Okay. So for like, it was, I had a nice little break there. And it was, it was good because that job was really bad. Like for my mental health, I would show up having panic attacks to that job. I had to use a lot of my therapy just to go to work, like my EMDR therapy, just to show up to work because I would have panic attacks. And these people like, they, they didn't know I was having panic attacks just for the thought of coming into work. I, I used to say to my roommate, can I quit today? Is today the day I could quit? And that was like every day. I hate that. Like, it's just, it's, I'm so emotional today, guys. I wonder when I'm going to start my period. But I'm not saying that like, as like, oh, emotional women and, you know, women are emotional. I just, I mean, like... I'm probably going to start my period soon, too, but, um, what am I saying here? I just hate that. Like, I've worked two jobs since 2016 and 17 that I absolutely love. These people are just <laughs> amazing people, and they have always met me where I was at and supported me in 
it was just awesome and paid me so well, treated me so well, and nurtured me, not like coddled me, but like understood what human being a human is about. And I'm working like a regular job only two days out of the week, some every other week, like three days. And it is overwhelming. I underestimated my ability to function and work. And I thought that I could. And I'm coming to the realization that, like, that is not for me right now. Like, I don't know what to do. I feel so fucking fucked up. And, you know, most people be like, it's only two days a week, you know, and I only work five hours a fucking day when I work. So, you know, it's like small potatoes compared to these other people who work. Like, you guys work your lives away. I don't know how you do it. I've been doing massage for 16 years now, and I don't work full time. And if I do work like a week, that's like a full time week. I love it when I was doing it because, like, it was fun. I was doing things and making good money and I don't know it just didn't feel like work I I don't really know how to explain it because it wasn't like a regular type of a job and coming back here from Texas and having all these like restrictions and limitations and price hikes and all kinds of stuff has really just like got to me like I, it's really fucked up my poverty mindset. Like, I, I, it's like I'm, again, I'm repeating myself, but it's like I'm starting over and from square one and it's just so frustrating. So I know I came on here to tell you that I've been sick because I have, but I know like a part of this sickness is like me just uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually just fucking sick, you know? Like, that's a big part of it. So anyways, I hope to feel better soon and to get back to um, recording videos. And I know, like, I had dedicated myself to, like, doing my January videos for the year because I like doing that in the beginning of each year. But it just kind of is what it fucking is right now. And I'm not going to force something that just is a struggle, but what I do know that I can focus on when I'm feeling better is making my affirmation videos. Um, because if I, if I want to be realistic with myself, when I look on the back end of my channel, that is what people really like. They like those affirmation videos. And even if those aren't like fulfilling my heart's calling, I need to be realistic about what I can actually turn into money because I live in a 3D reality that requires money. And I know you guys understand that. And maybe one day <clears throat> I'll be at a point that I can start sharing different things again and being in a creative flow that I could actually give you quality content, which I know I'm capable of because um, I've done it before and I highly enjoy it. Um, but until then, I don't want to like just give from an empty cup and just, you know, like, I don't know. I, it's, it's not fair to you guys or me. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to do my best to make, you know, finish like to do my little chakra series. Cause that's pretty simple. Like I'm going to do my best to, to do that and keep that going. Cause that is simple. But, um, the January, you know, thing, I'm just going to have to call it a fucking day and just let that be what that is. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you. Thank you for listening to my crying rants of sickness <laughs> over here. And, um, please send me all your love and healing energy for me to get better soon. So that way I can find a way to like move beyond my own limiting beliefs here. I just need support from a like-minded community such as yourself. And I hope you guys are all well and healthy and I'm sending you all my love. All right, guys. Bye.